The next mate that we are going to cover is the parallel mate. Of all the SolidWorks mates, the parallel mate is probably one of the easiest and most obvious mates to apply. With that said, the parallel mate, like most other SolidWorks mates, is very versatile. The parallel mate can be applied between lines, cones, cylinders, extrusions, and planes. So you can see, there's a lot of versatility there. So let's begin. We are going to use the same parts that we used in the previous lesson, the base plate and the angle bracket. And as you know, those can be located in your work and files folder. I am going to begin by adding a coincident mate between the top face of the base plate and the bottom face of this first angle bracket. I'll accept it. Next, I'm gonna apply a coincident mate between the two end faces. Now, sometimes when you apply these mates, you will see the part is flipped. Notice we do have a flip mate alignment button to flip the part. I like what I see. I'm gonna select the green check mark. And now I am going to apply a parallel mate between these two faces. And notice it defaults to coincident. I am going to select parallel. Now let's add mates to the second angle bracket. I'll mate the top face to the bottom face, like I did with the first bracket. And then I am going to mate these two faces parallel to one another. And then we'll mate this edge to this edge. I'll accept it. Now if I close out of the property manager for mate, notice I move one bracket, the other bracket does not move with it. But if I apply a coincident mate between this face and this face, now you'll see they move together. So as you probably notice, the parallel mate is a real easy mate to apply. And when you go to apply it on your assemblies, you will know if that's the appropriate mate based on your design intent.